name is Mark Pomanaya, and um, I'm going to be talking about the Spanish-American War today. Uh, the Spanish-American War started on April 21st, 1898. Uh, Spain tried to invade Cuba, and uh, America didn't really like this too much uh, since Cuba is so close. And um, also, we were doing a lot of dealing with uh, Cuba at that time. Uh, at this time, at this point in time, powerful countries were trying to expand. They were trying to create more land where they could uh, civilize people and start creating a bigger uh, franchise, as you'd like to call it. Uh, Spain wanted to take advantage of Cuba for two reasons. One, because there was a lot of natural resources in Cuba that were being used at this time, such as oil and gems and diamonds and things like that. And also, they had a great uh, area for a naval base or a military base to be put up so that they could have sections all across the world and across the ocean from where Spain is. So, and also, uh, Spain invading was heavily uh, disrupting economic imp or impacts with the United States and Cuba together. Um, there was three main wars in this, uh, or there's three main battles in this war. Uh, one of them is the Battle of Manila Bay. Uh, it started in May 1st, 1898. Uh, the, US, the U.S. Navy battleships uh, made Spain flee because technically Spain owned all the way from Cuba to Spain all the way across the Atlantic Ocean, and they had a free passage to come in and out of Cuba and do whatever they wanted, and uh, the U.S. did not like that. Uh, them capturing this or winning this battle allowed them to be able to put their battleships and their navy ships in the spots that they wanted to put them so they could blockade Spain if they wanted to come in. And it also gave the fighters that were in Spain a lack of supplies and a lack of materials because their ships couldn't get in and give them the materials that they needed. And also this allowed uh, America to come in and kind of help Cuba and provide them with materials and also it would give Cuba American um, American special teams that have been training all year round, and they're the best at what they do at this time. So, uh, yeah, America made Spain flee from this, and this was ultimately a big part of the battle that America needed to win. Uh, the Battle of San Juan Hill. So, uh, America's, America's plan was to come in and blockade Spain from bringing in any supplies and any things like that. So then their second part of the plan is that they wanted a hill, which was the highest peak on the area that they were battling in Santiago. So they wanted the highest peak so that they could see everything, they could see any moves that Spain was going to try to make outside of the, or during the war and try to see um, whatever plans that they were going to have so they could interrupt them and stop them. Uh, the USA block, blockaded Spanish ships to enter the harbor, which didn't allow them to have any materials. And also, San Juan was a huge part of the success of America winning this war. Uh, July 3rd, 1898, was the Battle of Santiago de Cuba. Um, with the blockade and hill, USA had a huge advantage over there, being able to control them through the land and the water, not letting any big battleships come in, and not letting any more troops come in to fight in, the, uh, in Cuba. And uh, the U.S. ships and the Rough Riders, which was a group that uh, President Roosevelt put together to go fight on land in Cuba, uh, they basically fought off the, Spain the Spanish until they were, uh, they thought that the battle would be done or until Spain would flee. And uh, it just so happened that Spain surrendered. Uh, the battleships were too much for Spain. They couldn't hold on. Uh, so this technically gave America the control to Cuba and their rights, which uh, ended up not going off, and Cuba became their own country. But at this time, it was a big uh, it was a big win to keep Spain out of Cuba's uh, land. So, uh, was the USA invading the war justified? Um, I personally believe it was uh, for two reasons. One, economic. They were uh, Spain was trying to come in and kind of mess with the money that America was making and the money that America was investing into the country trying to get natural resources from Cuba and also keeping a relationship with Cuba. And um, I think the main war or the main reason that they invaded the war was just for the fact that um, Cuba's so close to America that basically if Spain wanted to attack America at any time and they possessed Cuba's land that it would be very easy for them and very in reach that they wouldn't have to 
you know, drive across the whole Atlantic or sail across the whole Atlantic and um, have to attack America that way. So, yeah, um, thank you for listening and uh, appreciate it. Here are my works.